So Ross, we're just talking about the Victron. Yep. Uh, as being a brains for off-grid solar systems. Now SMA you've got in your hands is another off-grid brain for the solar system, is that right? That's right. So this will run your off-grid solar system with no power lines, this this bad boy. Yeah, that's right. So this is a, a big, massive off-grid inverter. Yeah. Which... Um, How does it differ to the Victron? Well, probably the main difference with this one to the Victron is just power output. So this does a continuous six kilowatts worth of output power, which is huge considering the grid. Um, generally supply, supplies around six to seven kilowatts of power from the power lines. This SMA inverter can give you six kilowatts continuous power just um, by itself using batteries and solar. A German company, SMA, made in Germany, so the whole process for this, this one is, in, is from Germany. Being the brains of the off-grid system, we, we've talked about this before, it has the ability to integrate the solar, the invert, uh, sorry, the solar, the battery, the generator, to make it feel like when you're living in your home off the grid that you're on the grid and yeah. that, that feels the exact same as having power lines to your house. Yep. Awesome. Anything else special about this inverter? So it's, it's got more power output than the Victron we just looked at. Yeah, um, well, it's, you can do a couple of things. If, if six kilowatts is not enough power, you can actually stack three of these or a, a couple of them into a, a cluster and get six, you know, 18 kilowatts worth of continuous output. You can even get three phase out of these by connecting three of them together to get a three phase output. And they they actually talk directly with SMA's solar inverters as well. So that's pretty cool. They work with your LG batteries, they work with BYD, they work with lead acid and gel batteries as well. So you've got a lot of options with this. A lot this. of options with this. You can plug a generator into this, you can plug the grid into it, you can use it for off-grid, or you can just use it as a backup inverter. So we're actually installing one of these for a guy on Monday, really good Aussie bloke um, who's got a bit of a hydroponic setup. Now he's, yep. he's still on the grid, yeah. but has blackouts sometimes and needs that higher output to pull that power from his battery to, to supply the hydroponic setup. So mm. you're saying that you can actually plug this in, you can use this off-grid inverter on the grid, yeah, exactly. So you can use this on the grid yeah. as a backup inverter. And what makes it cool as a backup inverter, it still has all that functionality of the off-grid uh, sort of stuff. So it can do your six kilowatts output during a, during a blackout or something like that. And being an off-grid inverter, it can ramp up to, uh, it can actually go up to 12 kilowatts um, output for a couple of seconds if you've got things like motors and water pumps and thing and equipment that has a high startup current yeah this inverter it has no dramas handling that stuff as well so to recap what we've been saying in a blackout situation so this inverter works in a blackout situation in that when there's a blackout it will take over um, supplying power to the house directly from the battery and the solar panels it can also be used to run completely off the grid if you don't have any grid whatsoever yep that's right. Great. And it's got a really high power output for, especially for people that are running things like equipment or yeah. hydroponic setups, like we're, we're going to install one of these on, on Monday. Exactly right. Very cool. Thanks, Ross. No worries, Sam.